All right, guys, I got a special Christmas uh, video to, with, to go with Joe where we're going around. We're going to review some food items. Christmas is my favorite time of year. So you're probably wondering why I'm dressed up in this elf outfit. I, I, I always like to be very festive around Christmas, and I decided to buy an elf costume, and it doesn't fit. I mean, look at the hat. It doesn't fit on my head. So I'm returning it to Amazon. They better give me a refund. This is proof that it doesn't fit. Uh, but anyway, I'm very festive. I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time of year just ever since i was a kid i love christmas i love to s sit on santa's lap i want a hand grenade yeah well, i want a hand release but you don't see me holding my breath i really love the music jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh hey see you probably didn't think i could sing i can sing on the food side to christmas everybody should have a chinese christmas at least once <laughs> Uh, the Chinese Christmas is when you basically f up all the food. Catherine, this turkey tastes half as good as it looks. I think we're all in for a very big treat. <laughs> you got to call the Chinese place up and see if they can, uh, you know, uh, take care of it uh, for you. It, it's smiling at me. <laughs> Copper Walk versus Mikado. These are the two Chinese places around. I gotta take this shit off. I, this is shit. So first up, let's go with uh, Copper Walk. We're gonna try the Crab Rangoons. They are these throwing star type of things. Like you can throw like Chinese th throwing stars. And they give you a little sauce. Now the sauce is very critical in Chinese food. If you eat it just with the thing, uh, it's not very good. I'm gonna take a bite. Now a funny thing, a woman on the internet said, I chew my mouth open, I make her want to vomit. Well, you know what? I'm going to chew with my mouth open because it's funny. If I chewed politely, it'd be boring. And then bring that to your mouth, making it very easy to eat. Boring. So these crab rangoons are pretty good. It seems like it's like a fried thing with it's almost like cream cheese and a little bit of crab in there. So it's pretty good. Next up, we have the mushu pork, what I call uh, pork pancakes. So you have this thing right here. These are the pancakes with the sauce. And then you got the pork thing right here. There's the pork. It's like pork and cabbage and carrots and stuff. And I don't even, like, again, I don't know what this stuff is. So what you do is you take the pancake and you put a little of the thing in it. Put a little sauce on there. I don't know what kind of sauce this is, but it's good. See right there? There it is. Pancake. Now let's take a bite. Hmm. This is good. I like this. Maybe a little bit more pork and less cabbage. I like this because you can kind of build it yourself and control the ratio. Pretty good. I got the Buntu box or something. I don't know. It's like a smorgasbord of Chinese food. Let's first, let's try out the salad first. Let's try it out. Pretty good. It's a salad. Whatever. Fuck the salad. Next up, we got a misu soup. I love Chinese soup. Favorite is uh, wonton soup. Not really much in here, though. It's just really broth. A couple of uh, leaves of some sort. Let's, let's see how the leaf tastes. It tastes slimy a little bit. Not bad, though. There's these little cubes of some sort in there. I don't know if that's tofu or something. Very interesting soup. I never had a soup like this before. Pretty good. I really like the broth as well. Last but not least, we have the Buntu box thing with chicken teriyaki. And let me find my fork. I got so much shit down here. Well, I can't find my fork, so I'm just going to use the spoon. Let's try the rice real quick. Pretty good. Mmm, crunchy dumplings. A lot of flavor in there. Little tang in this dumpling. Oh, look at that. I haven't seen this in a long time. I love these. These are the mini uh, corn on the cobs. Mmm. Chicken teriyaki, good seasoning on it, flavor, a little tenderness to it. Yeah, this is pretty good. All right, final grade, uh, price. Uh, you know, both these places to me are B plus places. Uh, I'm gonna give the slight edge to Mikado over Copper Walk in terms of price. Uh, portion size, you know, consistently I've gotten bigger portion size from Copper Walk. Uh, I'll give them a B plus, both of them, B plus. I'm generous today, B plus for both. Uh, quality, this is a tough one. I mean, I don't know which one's better, to be honest with you. I thought what I had today, uh, Copper Walk, I liked it a little bit better. But Mikado, I've had some great things there. So I can't decide which one. But both of them get a B plus in quality for final grade. B plus for both Mikado and Copper Walk. Check them out in Vineyard Haven if you've never been there. Both pretty decent spots. I just want to take this time to uh, wish everybody a... Merry Christmas! Dinner was full!